Hey, McWarriors, welcome back to Overplays McWarrior 5. We're in the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Tandy Australis system, where I came up here to take a look at the uh, garrison duty here and see if it was going to be the Hanson's Rough Riders, and I forgot to hit record. So, it's not. We're going to move over here and see if we can find one over here for the uh, Warzone contract at 800. And 800, probably at 350. 360, I don't know. <clears throat> and if you were there at the end of the last episode, you saw that I picked up a Atlas RS. So we're, uh, we're swinging some pretty good weight now. That's, uh, 375. Total. Now under this, whatever it is that does the, the doubling or whatever it's doing of the tonnage drops, um, don't really know what a 800 is supposed to be. I know that a difficulty 83 is more so than what I've been fighting, but I did a 76 in the last episode. That was a 300 and I think 14 ton, maybe been 40. In either case, I think I'm going to do this one. I'm not seeing any of these as being likely to be one of the uh, mercenary coming in. But I need the money because I'm down to two million. So, oh, a 25% boost. I'll take that. Bump that up. Five million. The mission area is under a heavy weather warning. It's going to affect visibility for you. Now, because there's no penalty for over tonnage, I'm going to take it. I might as well. Yeah, I did my math right. It really was 375. Maybe. Maybe not. The stalker runs at 40. Yeah, 48. 60. 40. Oh, shucks. Okay, so i got to do 48 if I want to take these guys. We're in. You know, forgetting to record is unusual for me. It's just a click of the button on my left-hand screen. Which has OBS running. That's the recording software. Sound, recording. And I use DaVinci Resolve for video editing. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. And I really should shut up and let them talk. Link up with them and hold off the enemy advance as long as possible. Be sure not to overextend yourself, Commander. Eventually, you will need to fall back to the evac point. But as long as required, not as long as possible. How am I going down to the last small laser shot on some? Kick off the rest of the mission. That sounds like an AC-10 burst fire. Ooh, he hit me. I hit him back. Lump of charcoal. I think I'll practice cool mode for a minute. And break out the laser drill. Commander, you've got the Ops Force's attention. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile contact. Unfortunately, it's not a defense mission. I can just take out the ones I want to first. Enemy mech ahead. You heard the commander. Take that target. I 
go up this hill. Take a leg. I wish you could tell him the leg. Yep. Too easy. Come the incendiary devices. Thought there was another one back here. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. Well, do have a lot more left. I'll blow them to pieces. Not worried about that. Just let me start seeing some LRMs flying. There we go. Now that's the way you do it. He's behind that rock right there. Yep. That was me. Ditto. At least nobody else claimed it, which is unusual. Get used to the Gauss rifle lead. Forget the leads more for the SRMs. He's shooting at me. Any trade shots? Makes it halfway. Miss. Don't know why, but lasers aren't firing. Yeah, I'll take out the guys coming in fast. I just hope that uh, Hale's okay. Seeing as he was talking after he ejected, he should be. We still got uh, seven more. That's one of the difficulties with taking a support mech, is sometimes they get ganged up on because they are, in fact. Making damage. I love that 30% speed for the Gauss rifle for the heavy metal. It's almost a point and shoot. We're getting serious out there. That's an Atlas. Oh, 
now shift off and take this guy. Boy, you're just ignoring me. That's okay. How's your back armor, buddy? And I overheated. Splooge. That was worth it. One more somewhere. There he is. Firing at range. It's firing what at range? It used to be about the same as mine. How about if we run up on it and do it point blank and then step off two meters into our evacuation extraction, sorry, circle. We don't evacuate. Well, our bowels. Innocent civilians. Nice mountains. Just for the record, it is December of real time. 2023, who knows when somebody's going to watch this. And we have mountain on our, our snow on our mountaintops already. Very rare. It was a wet fall. Southeastern Arizona, we get uh, 13 inches of rain per year. So it's nice to see snow on a mountaintop. And the one five miles from my house is 10,000 footer. Dropship on approach, Commander. Prepare for extraction. I am prepared. I ran full speed and left him in the dust. So I lost a stalker for this. Cord. The good news is the stalker did not have an XL engine in it. The bad news is now I gotta go back somewhere and get it repaired. I'm going to go up here and look at this hero mech and drool over it, I'm sure, and I won't have any money. And that's the way it goes. But it will tell me the hero mech's in the area. Yeah, the knights are. That's the WP. That's one of my favorite guys. If you watched the last playthrough, you saw this guy in action. Four large lasers, four SRM, sixes, and enough cooling and ammo to make that work. It's a, just a boom-banger. And the 7V, again. Yep. Gotta start, oh, another Atlas D. Hmm. Yep. That's a good outfit for it, for a support mech. Nom, 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 nom. Can't do it, first of all. Slide him over. He can go back over. That might never come back out again. And I'm okay with that. That drops me down to 365 as a all-up mech or Lance, and a lot of options in between. Let's go see where we are. 
I need to find one that's got the real tonnage so I can tell what the deal is. This area is a, oh, it's a 1213, so it's all, everything's 400 plus. Solaris has chainsaw. It's a level five. Let's go run that. I gotta rotate some mechs around. I'm sorry, some mech pilots around. Difficulty 32, 230 ton. Battlefield. Battlefield is a war zone made spicy. Oh, might as well. We can't run it like this, obviously. I can still run it in the Highlander, perhaps. But this would have to be... Uh, let's go light. And you too. I'm in there. And I don't need to be quite that light. I got 10 tons. Don't care if I go a little bit over. Don't care if I go, yeah, five times is nothing. Let's go. Let me do some adjustments. Uh, pick up We're Opus butt and put it in the chair where it belongs. Well, that's a nice shot. We can rack up a big salvage payout if we're able to maintain our position. But remember, hmm. you have to be alive to spend it. Come back safe. Yeah, I'm looking at my screen, which is 4K straight ahead of me. And the screen to my left where I got the monitoring going on, which is 1440. And, yep, mine's prettier. Not by a lot, but it does make a difference. <coughs> I think it helps me shoot, because I can see stuff small, deviations, and aim better, perhaps. That doesn't explain my stupid shots where I miss a lot, but I'll blame those on a quirk in the software or an over, you know, oversensitive mouse trigger. I mean, oversensitive mice are just a thing, you know. You leave them out the wrong kind of cheese, they come whining and complaining. Wake up in the middle of the night. I don't know why I'm trying to skirt around it. I gotta get in there and trip the mission off. Enemy forces moving in, Commander. Get ready for them. Well, let's put on our party hats and get ready for them. Be really helpful if she could tell us where they're coming in from. I'm gonna go for the big part of the map, which is you know, right there. I'll do what I can. Two of you, and you couldn't take this guy out, huh? Of course, I'm missing too. Just not as much. There's lots of rocks to hide behind in this one. Not enough for this guy. This is the beast target vaporized. For him. Commander, 
pretty big perimeter. I hear a VTOL. behind me. I think I just shot that rock. I almost got him in the head. In his defense, it took him twice. Halfway. Yeah, Chainsaw is one of my favorite get the elite pilots. He's, well, I think, the only female, or one of the only females, and I like to alternate the genders and the voices because it helps you figure out who's talking. I missed him. Damn rock. I want that gun. Got it. Bye. You guys finish yours yet? No. I missed. Not twice though, wrong side, but... I wish my, uh, Lance's resistance. Hang on. Poop in the engine. Poop. Two more. Yeah, like I said, that 30% increase in velocity for the uh, Gauss gun that heavy metal gets, it makes it pretty much, you know, direct fire. Point and shoot. Pretty much. Mostly. Sometimes. It doesn't explain why I miss. Okay. Stray neuron firing. That's why I miss. Where it's behind a hill. The synapses don't fire as quickly as they used to once you become a grandfather. Especially if you got a babysitter every day. Yeah, that's too slow. Here we go. I'll get it eventually. repairs either. Mission complete, Commander. Let's go home. 
just gonna stand behind this rock. One point eight. I'm pretty sure it was higher than that. Oh, that much. Okay. <laughs> Ten out of fourteen. Yeah, I carried my weight. What about you guys? And now for the next mission. The Scorched Earth. Okie dokie, 230 again, so that's not a big deal. Okay, 4.6, I'm watching you. Bad news, Commander. Extreme weather conditions means you'll be dealing with limited visibility and compromised sensors on this mission. I gotta fix this. I'm taking him out and putting in Hale. Hale's still impaled for 49 days. That's pretty bad when you gotta, I mean, Goblin's still ROE is at our discretion, Commander. Yes, it is. Let's go. My discretion. That's rules of engagement telling him when he's allowed to shoot. That's me. My call. You can always shoot. As long as it's not a blue. No oh, blue on blue. Oh, that's a hailstorm, all right. This is an exercise in shooting red squares and hoping you can see the building. And I need to see if I've got my uh, uh, wrong one. I do. Let's go. Chaos rifle's just too slow. Taking out buildings. I am not going to see him from a distance. Walking right into a crater wall. We'll scooch along the side instead. Shoot the red box if you don't pull up a red box. You can quote me on that. And lasers are better because you can sweep them. Rim's even better because you don't have to be precise. It is also a very hot planet. Not line up my cursors. Like that. The area is down to half capacity. Keep going. 
not bad considering I haven't really tried yet. Scorpions, they just look freaky. Crazy. Don't know how to do that, sir. That's because I screwed up. This area is on his last legs, Commander. Just one final push, and then we can all go home. Bunch of rocks. Satellite dish is always fun to kill. It's a lot of targets for a 230 home. You don't have to, you just shoot the box. something I can destroy. Hey, you know what? I can run through the walls. He had the same thought, I guess. Yeah, they're shooting at me. Sometimes that full speed run just isn't fast enough. That should be mine because it's inside the circle. Did not get it though. Ten. So I don't have to take that sentinel. Scorpion, scorpion. Solid core. That would have been worth the eleven if I could have had that double heat sink kit. On the other hand, it wouldn't have been eleven then. This guy, on the other hand, is just good for cash. Insufficient salvage shares. Okay, cash. And I get the SRM-6. That's good for Goblin, but look, he almost blew me. Glad to join the company, Commander. Let's kick some ass. I agree. I'm going to sell some stuff, too. Ah, look at that. Yeah. She brought a pretty good dowry with her, didn't she? That's all that. We have no need for that. No. Not a bad mech, but I got better for her.
I think you know how it runs once you get past 30 minutes, folks. That's it for this episode of Opal Plays MechWeeder 5. Next time, we're going to have to head off and repair that stalker or do something with it. I don't know what. Um, I kind of do want and need a support mech, but I'm not sure the stalker's the right one. So, we'll find out. We'll see you next time. Till then, Opus out.